Welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Kenneth Clayton. He's with the University of Kentucky Turfgrass Extension. Everybody wants a great looking lawn, but there are some steps that we need to do, and this time of year we need to start thinking about some of those. Yes, the fall is a great time of year to take care of our lawns, especially our cool season lawns like our tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass. Um, and it's really the best time of year to fertilize our lawns, so to take into consideration of the nutrient needs of the lawn. And we want to do that in the fall so after our warm season weeds like crabgrass um, have gone dormant and we're not fertilizing and encouraging our weeds. So soil tests can be very helpful. Um, but I always like to tell folks to look at your grass. If you're out there and you're mowing it more than you want to be mowing it <laughs> and the grass is healthy, then likely you're not going to learn anything necessary from a soil test. But if you look at your lawn and it's struggling, it's not growing like you think it should be growing, uh, then definitely get a soil test. And with the soil test, Joanna, uh, it's incredibly crucial to get good representative samples of the lawn. So we're, you know, in a typical lawn, maybe 10, 15, 20 samples, the more, the better. Um, but you wanna take those randomly across the lawn. Um, and doing that, we want to sample at the same depth. So if you are sampling approximately four to six inches is a good depth for turf grass. Um, but you want to take each sample, 15 or 20 of them at the same depth, put them into a bucket, mix them up, bring them into you, into the extension office, and we can send those off. When you get the report back, we're typically looking at uh, phosphorus and potassium. Nitrogen is not gonna be on that, that test because there's not a good test for that. Um, but for nitrogen, typically in the fall, we're wanting to apply about a pound, up to two pounds of nitrogen, and you can split that across several applications. When we talk about nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, when you go to your home and garden stores to get your fertilizer, um, there's three numbers on there, and so this one is 14, 14, 14. That first number is your nitrogen, the second number is your phosphorus, and the third number is your potassium. So when we get recommendations, that's how you're gonna understand what you need to buy. And a lot of times people put a lot of emphasis on nitrogen. As, and you know, a lot of times in the spring, not even maybe the right time to be applying that, but those other nutrients are very important with some things that we can't see. Yeah, so absolutely. Um, we are gonna see in a soil test um, if there is a lack of potassium or phosphorus. Um, typically our soils around here are pretty good but new development, dirt gets moved around a lot, construction sites like that. Uh, you definitely, if you see something going on there, we want, want to get a sample of that. If our soil test comes back and it says that we do still need some type of nutrients, what's the best way to apply the fertilizer? If you're wanting to apply a pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet, we typically want to divide that in two and we're gonna go two directions. So you wanna apply a half a pound, say going north-south on your lawn, and then you wanna make a second um, application going east-west. And that's gonna help you if you get any skips, it's gonna help prevent um, seeing green lines here and yellow lines in between that. A uh, much more uniform application with that. Okay, and do we make those applications at the same time? Yes, okay. so you can do up to about a pound of nitrogen pretty safely. Um, so you're gonna do half a pound, half a pound, same day. Then you can come back in, you know, two, three, four weeks later and apply again if need be and do the same thing going two directions with that. I mean, typically we recommend watering that in or timing it around a rainfall. Because that'll get that activated and actually you, the plants utilizing that. Yes, that's correct. And depending upon what your source of nitrogen is and that salt index, uh, there's higher burn potential for certain fertilizers. Um, so we want to get that washed down off of the leaf blade of the plant um, so that we have less potential for burn on the grass. And why is fall the better time than spring? Yeah, so I think predominantly for weed issues, we don't want to fertilize our warm season Bermuda grass, crab grass, goose grass weeds and encourage them. We want to discourage them and encourage our grass that's growing. Um, and if you go out too early in times of drought and heat, the cool season grass isn't growing, so it's not going to actively take that nitrogen up uh, as well as our weeds would there. So that's a good time, and it's a good time to promote root growth of the cool season grasses. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.